When violent crimes reached crisis levels in the city of Tacoma, the police department turned to data-driven, evidence-based solutions for a cure. This is the medicine that works, and we should keep using it. The Violent Crime Reduction Plan, first implemented in July 2022, was launched by Chief Avery Moore with the help of researchers from the University of Texas San Antonio. The red line obviously is what what violent crime was doing before the crime plan began. The plan works in three phases to reduce crime citywide with increased attention in the most violent neighborhoods. We had to be really consistent with not causing harm to communities. Um, and I'm really happy to say that haven't got any complaints about over-policing, targeting policing. That's what you want out of a comprehensive crime plan. The latest data from the plan is from July 2023 to December 2023. During that time, researchers say the number of murders did not change, but aggravated assaults were down significantly. There's still work to be done, though, to address business robberies, as those did increase. You see the 18% reduction citywide compared to last year. This is good evidence that um, the crime plan is having the kind of effect that we hoped that it would. Not only is violent crime going down, but citizen calls for service related to violent crime are also going down. An important part of the plan is officers conducting hotspot treatments at known locations where crime was highest. The plan is entering phase three, which focuses on deterring known high risk and repeat offenders through social programs and increased enforcement like hotspot patrols. It's confirmation that crime is just not moving around the corner when we uh, when we treat um, these these hotspots. The police chief says year to date homicides are down 40 percent, violent crimes more than 17 percent and property crimes almost 25 percent. Phase three will focus on the east side of town on East 25th Street. That enforcement of hotspot patrols started on April 1st. Reporting at Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.